Hello there everyone, Anth Wolf here, I'm bringing you even more Final Fantasy XIV, playing as our red mage, Evane Jubero, here. Oh, I got myself doubled, that's always good. <laughs> I haven't streamed in a little while. Ah, that was a good start. But no, we're here with my red mage, and we are here with the final story patch for the Stormblood expansion, which just got released. The uh, maintenance got completed a little bit early, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it all ends to the run up to Shadowbringers. To try and uh, sum up what happened, I can't fully remember. It's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> I know we are now at war with the Gallian Empire, and I know our fellow Scions have been called. Hello there, Bandit. Uh, yes, I noticed the Genesis cap had been bumped up to 900, which I like a great deal. Which means I can work on my Paladin's Genesis armor. And I slept um, reasonably well. I woke up early again as if I was going to go into work, but... Work, not today. So, yeah. I'm not sure if there's many quests left remaining. I have no idea. But... Ah, we are here. Let's get it done. A brief reprieve. Hori Boulder's sullen expression suggests he has no news to share, in which, which in this case may not mean good news. I was going to say, I don't think we've ever heard Hori Boulder actually speak. I wonder if he actually has a voice actor. Is... Ah, oh, Maxima. No longer in his Gallian attire. Maxima came with someone else. Okay. So yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I actually streamed some Final Fantasy XIV. I should stream some of my uh, kind of interlude videos. I've been doing, along with Bandit actually, I've been doing a lot of Eureka. We did the Four Lords side quests of course. Kind of just been keeping myself busy in this game while contemplating what other game to play in the background up until the run up to Shadowbringers. Of course, we have now had the full 
Shadowbringer's trailer. Oh, Sid. Shadowbringer's trailer as well. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> We're coming along. God, there's so many people here. Everyone's doing the quest line. Hey, Sid. That's right, Gaius and Garland uh, Sid had a unusual kind of mentorship going on, didn't they? We need it on the front lines again. Indeed. Hey, we're getting a lift. Pretoria. for heroes. Despite the apparent urgency of Rauban's summons, the resistance fighter seems content to wait for your signal to proceed. And will gain an unknown reward. Huh. So it's actually a prompt. <laughs> to Alliance Headquarters we go. <laughs> yeah. The magic words of several cutscenes. The fact that it even prompted you to um, go here, rather than just throwing you straight in as well. Oh, and there's um, a duty to commence. Yeah, 
upon speaking to Raban, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Let us set aside enough time to watch them in their entirety. Judy calls, would you commence battle for a requiem for heroes? There have been several skirmishes along the border, but as yet neither side has delivered a decisive blow. We had long assumed that the Garleans would overwhelm us in a straight fight, but we seem to be gaining ground, albeit slowly. As to why that might be, the most likely explanation is that they have yet to commit all their forces. Still, we're winning, and our latest intelligence suggests the Emperor has retreated back to Garlemald. In light of this, we're considering launching an offensive with the aim of pushing the front line forward and giving ourselves some room to breathe. They've still got that black rose. Commander, the Imperials! They've broken through our defenses to the east! What? Our scouts say their forces are being led by Lord Xenos. Lord Heon and Commander Hext have taken their troops to provide support, but we don't know how long they can hold out. So, they've been biding their time, waiting for his arrival, have they? Very well. Send word to our allies, requesting reinforcements for the front line. Should the worst come to the worst, I may need to enter the fray myself. But what of you? Do you still have the strength to fight? Kind of a daft question, isn't it? Yeah, you should leave the Asian to us, really. He may not die as such, but to see Lord Zenos fall on the battlefield would deal a heavy blow to Imperial morale. I'll see to it the men stay clear. Is it the voice again? Are you sure you're in a fit state to do this? Uh, I don't think the Gollian's gonna really care if we are or not. May Ralgar grant us strength. Give him hell, lass. I, for my part, will defend this place to my dying breath. I don't like it when characters talk like that. Meanwhile, at the border of Alamigo. playing as Hien. So the duty wasn't to play as us, but playing as Hien. Well, we've had it before. We have a damage over time. And a second wind, which has a two-minute recall. Okay, here we go. We have a few uh, red shirts with us, Lys and Yagiri. Ready? Ooh, nice. Warrior of Light has left Alliance Headquarters. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, there's the red shirt has gone. This one's for you, Ada. We're barely scratching Xenos. Oh dear. Are we all okay? Yeah, we're all okay, good. The Warrior of Light is still nowhere in sight. Oh shit! At least took his place. The weave of a shinobi's power. The art of my forebears. But a few hundred yarms away. Magic with a guardian body. That's hardly fair. Still, 
He must be stopped, no matter the cost. I can't tell Yagiri or Lisa breathing. to mark our reunion <laughs> so be it equilibrium must be restored and only your death will redress the balance Here we go. Christ. I'm surprised that move was meant to finish me off and it didn't. I think Elidibus is uh, slowly giving up the disguise that he's actually Xenos. He's talking about uh, La Habrea.
game struggling a little. <laughs> so many people must yeah. be doing the same instance. Oh, here we go again. rarely see the parry animation as a uh, red mage. out for that. I want to get in close at the same time I don't want to walk into one of those orbs. Your mother chose her champion well. Yet, for all your strength, you will still fail. This is not the right time for this. Ah, someone calls to you. Too late, alas. What's going on with our blessing of light?
This is not our blessing of light. This is something else. At last, I found you. There's no cause for alarm. Though, I confess, this is not where I had intended to meet. But the place of our meeting is of no consequence. Like the war you wage. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. Yeah, you may have just got my physical body killed. The better path leads you here, to me. I have need of your strength. Yeah, I think you need to send me back. Go to the Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. It will serve as a beacon of sorts. One which I pray will help you on your journey. All you need do is find it. I will take care of the rest. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth Zenos didn't kill us. Are we in Ishgard? It looks like we're in Ishgard. Hey. You're awake. Thank heavens. Yeah, what the hell just happened? Do you recall the confrontation with Xenos? You were the first to come to the aid of Mistress Lise and the others on the front line. In the midst of your duel, it is said you faltered and that the Crown Prince seized the opportunity to deliver a mortal blow. Yet before his blade could find its mark, he was distracted by the arrival of a second adversary who bore you away from the battlefield and into the hands of our chirurgeons. Lest you wonder, he left before you awoke. <laughs> As is his wont. Estinian. This is the Stinian. It sounds like him. Estinian never was one for emotional farewells. Though Xenos bested all before him, the battle clearly took its toll, for he retreated shortly after your rescue. Seeing this, 
The remaining Imperial forces decided discretion was the better part of valor and pulled back, allowing us to re-establish our position. We have since received word of renewed unrest in the provinces, doubtless inspired by the efforts of the Aeorzean Alliance and our Far Eastern allies. Nor does the good news end there. We have also come into possession of intelligence suggesting unrest within the Imperial Court. This would certainly explain why both the Emperor and Lord Xenos appear to have abandoned the fight. A long-awaited ray of hope in these dark times. Yeah. Any news on the Scions? Yet to awake, I'm afraid. But please, concentrate on your own recovery for now. You have carried the hopes of some half dozen nations, and we are all eternally grateful for your efforts. But no one is without their limits, not even you. Leave this fight to us, my friend. You have earned your rest. Ah, but before I forget, I was asked to deliver a message as soon as you awoke. A reminder that you are not alone, though many of your allies have fallen. When you are well and rested, you are to return home, where friends will be waiting for you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to the front. May we meet again soon, under happier circumstances. <laughs> Holy hell. So many people here. So we have this man of the crystal hand who 
speaks in riddles, it seems, who is calling us. The pathway to the first. Look, we're not dead. By the twelve! I don't believe it! <laughs> I rushed back as soon as I could. I swear, my heart nearly stopped when I heard you'd collapse like the others. What in heaven's name is going on? Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. Oh, well, that's helpful. And what else did he say? The better path leads to him? Hmm... <gasps> if his is the voice you've all been hearing, perhaps the others are with him! Sir Emmerich said the fighting had reached a stalemate, didn't he? What if that monster masquerading as Xenos comes back? Thancred, Yastola, Uriange, Alphano, Alize. You're going to need all of them on your side to defeat him. And I forbid you from going to face him on your own. Do you hear me? So if you must leave, go and find the others. Bring them home. As for where to start, you said the stranger had left a beacon for you at the Crystal Tower, right? But I'm sure I remember hearing that the tower was blocked off. There has to be a way. If anyone would know, it's Sid and the researchers of St. Coinax find. Don't you worry. We'll find that beacon for you. Is it a good time to mention we've actually never explored the Crystal Tower, but it is the 24-man raid of a realm reborn. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace... I was waiting for this music just to burst in. I was actually going to hum it. <laughs> I pray you have good reason for abandoning the front. How could I remain there while the rumor that my son is possessed by a demon spreads like a sickness here at home? I will not be made to fight for the throne a second time. But what of you? Did you not tell me you would destroy Eorzea's champion with the ease that one might swat a fly? A minor setback. 
She will not escape me again. Where is your grandsire? I would have words with him. Oh. The Astians aren't speaking so well. How should I know? Do you hide from each other's sight as well? I imagine he's doing what all Asians do. Thank you, Varus. You're a dick, but at least you're still human? Hmm. He must have found a way to take advantage of this turmoil. Men are not pawns to be played with, Asian. You underestimate us at your peril. This war will not be decided by you and yours. Man must choose his own fate, and I, for my part, will do all within my power to see Garlemald emerge victorious. Pray forgive the intrusion, Your Radiance, but the requested preparations are now complete. This is where they're going to be deploying that poison. I think this is the uh, engineer they were speaking to earlier. We stand ready to begin production of Black Rose upon your order. Yep. going to be killing millions and you're going to do it I had half expected with the front lines pressing forward it was luring people into a zone where Black Rose was going to be deployed. Oh. Credit roll? Well, I knew there wasn't many uh, quests in this 4.56 patch. I was hoping there'd be more, but... Oh, well. Hey, we have a totally different kind of role than we're used to. Ah, yes, I heard about that. With uh, Yoshimitsu. Okay, so we'll sit back for 15 20 minutes. May as well enjoy these new credits. And then, yeah, we could always look at this new trial, perhaps. There's other things I would like to do. Um, we've been um, involving ourselves in a lot of uh, optional quests and uh, instances over the past couple of weeks, and I would like to get back to them, but there is time. Oh, I see a lot of side quests. Yeah, actually, I, m I remember reading that in the uh, patch notes. Oh, well, we may not be able to do the new trial. <laughs> oh, well. I 
like some of this artwork. Oh yeah, I like the old credits as well, of course. the black and normal credit roll now yeah yeah okay ah so that sets us all up for well there's probably gonna be a post credit uh, cinematic but it sets us all up for Shadowbringers, so we can talk about that for a little while while the credits are rolling. And then I'll have another 10 minutes of silence still to speak about <laughs> to uh, go through. But uh, yeah, we've had the full Shadowbringers trailer released. It has introduced the second playable class that we'll be able to unlock. Of course it is the Dancer, but it is a ranged physical DPS. The plague as a dancer at some point. It means I'm going to have to choose some um, suggestive attire. Because, of course, you have to do these things. And, of course, the first class that was announced was the Gunbreaker, a tank. In the background, between streams, as a uh, bandit is mentioning, of course, we did a lot of Eureka. And I've actually been leveling up a paladin who at the moment has a higher item level than my red mage, which is um, a bit crazy. Eureka gives some really good gear as you uh, progress through it, if you stick with it at least. But we'll be likely going into Shadowbringers as a Gunbreaker, which is going to start at level 60. I'm not sure where you unlock it. I believe the Dancer is unlocked at Limsa Lominsa. Gunbreaker, maybe the same? I guess we'll find out. I'll have to read about it. It's, it, it's, the, it's probably mentioned somewhere in the patch notes or in the uh, announcement. And, hmm, well, it's already been briefly mentioned, so I don't think it's too much of a spoiler, but they've already talked about this, this gem-handed individual. I always thought that, I mentioned it before, during the patch content, when people are being called, I thought it was Arbert, the Warrior of Darkness. It sounded like him, at least a little. Um... Not too sure. It, mm, because they're talking about the path to the first, which is the path to the first world, which is the one that is being overwhelmed, absorbed by light, where the original Warriors of Light actually uh, were from, and they were victorious over their Asians. And then they cast off their mortal physical forms, they became like the Asians to come to the source to our world to try and save their world by the rejoining. I don't think we'll encounter the Warriors of Light Dark again, as I believe in the cutscene with Minfilia, they were accepting that they were going to die properly and join with the life stream to be reborn. That's my guess anyway. But it seems we might be traveling to the world of the first to find the Scions. The Gallian theme.
Ah, I was gonna listen to some of the uh, Gaulian theme. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like we're gonna be traveling to the world of the first. And become what we truly were meant to be, the warrior of darkness. Which is curious. can't just out DPS the boss mechanics anymore. Oh, I see. I heard something about um the naval hard mode, I think you can do solo now as well, like the um the stone like jails. I think just do damage over time now. They don't kill you when the timer is complete. I read something about that. So it might be soloable. Yeah, I know what you mean with the boss mechanics. Yeah, because, um, but like Ifrit, when he summons his infernal nails, I think they make, they've make they made him invincible now or something like that. So you can't just overpower him because if you do that, he'll wipe the party if he loses too much health, something like that. Oh, he used, he used to wipe the party. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, it'll still be fine because the nails, if you're doing it off, like, out of sync. Oh, unsync, sorry. There you go, that's the word. I mean, the nail will die in one or two hits anyway. <laughs> so, it, like, you lose a couple of seconds. We'll have to see how it goes. It's not gonna really matter too much apart from people grinding for, like, the ponies and stuff. But it still mean it still doesn't mean the bosses are gonna be any tougher. Just oh well. Yeah, we just had to do some of the mechanics. But, you know, the mechanics aren't hard for the early bosses. It'll be fine. It's only going to really matter when we do a trial roulette nowadays. Unless we want to start again. <laughs> New game plus.
So there's one more thing I will probably um, be streaming in Final Fantasy XIV. I might like show off some random stuff in Eureka or some random roulette runs. But there's one main quest chain I haven't actually went into. I've actually kind of been saving it up. And they actually introduced a few new quests of it in this patch. And that is the, um, the Great Inspector himself. We have yet to do the adventures of Hildebrand. see yeah because Hildebrand has you introduced to um, another individual of, uh, in the form of Gilgamesh so that's the new trail side quests I see yeah we have yet to do any of the Hildebrand inspector extraordinaire missions not in this uh, playthrough at the very least I've been um, holding them off but they started back in a realm reborn Not sure how I feel about this crystal guy. He's being very vague about what's better in our situation. I mean, I know he's been perving on us through his uh, crystal walls and mirrors and such, but who is he? Well, I guess we'll just have to see in a new expansion. I wonder if the Asians know about the Crystal Tower. Because it seems the Crystal Tower is going to be integral to the Shadowbringers storyline in that it's going to allow us to travel to the First World. And, what, 15, 15, was it 15 years ago? The Garleans kind of did their first invasion of in Eorzea. And they attacked um, Silver Tear Lake, which is right next to the Crystal Tower. And the only reason they were stopped is because of Midgard Soma and his as his brood. And now we've discovered, of course, that the Garleans have always been under the control of the Astians or swayed by them. And at the time, 15 years ago. Solus might have still been the Emperor. This is just me reaching very far at the moment.
<laughs> yeah, they always run out of pitches, unfortunately. Hmm, only maybe another five minutes to go.
We are nearing the end. Celebration. Just a little bit more to go. Tataru and her tailoring. We've been given the Scion's Traveler outfit. Hello, Xenos version 2. I wondered where you'd gotten. My enemy. My friend. Had I been but a step faster. 
I wondered where you'd gotten. you elsewhere not that I am surprised may you find joy in it grow stronger more savage and savor every triumph Which is rightfully mine. Oh. Yeah, this is a guy who knows exactly. Are you going to be putting on that Garlean's armor? He's going to be in. For... In. I'm curious as to where that's going to go. And so now we must wait. So. Not a bad set of armor. Not a bad set of armor at all. Is it diable? It is. Okay. Uh, right. So, it's just like... So it dies the shoulder pads as well as the main like chest piece. So it's like the leather and the cloth. Hmm. Not too bad at all. Yeah, we have our, our lovely paladin gear right now. And of course, with the boost to the Genesis limit, it used to be 450, now it's 900. I am working on the Genesis gear. Of course, it's I've bound a chess piece, which is the only bit I have right now, to look like the elemental armor you get from Eureka. But eventually, I will want... The other bits of the Scavian armor. Just for how it originally looks. But. As I say. This is probably the armor. Maybe the elemental armor or the Scavian armor. We will be uh, 
potentially wearing into the Shadowbringers expansion when we play as a Gunbreaker. I have pre-ordered the game, or the expansion I should say. So within that first week of early access, I'll probably get around to speaking to the NPC, or, or mentor, or trainer. Pick up the Gunbreaker class and spend a bit of time getting it to at least level 70. Before going into the Shadowbringers expansion. So we'll fall a little bit behind compared to the main train of uh, people just rushing through the storyline. But back when I originally played the expansions, Heaven's Ward, Shadowbringers, I skipped a lot of cutscenes. Which is why it's fun to do these streams, why, the, why I like to do these Let's Plays. It, gets, it gives me a chance to sit back and go through and experience the things I missed and the emotionals, like the feels of the uh, story itself. So, we're always going to be a bit behind people anyway, but we're all going to get to the end game once again, together. But, thank you all for joining. As I say, I will do a few small streams here and there. I might do some duty roulettes, show off the paladin. Um, show off the Red Mage at Endgame again. And I might show a bit of Eureka. It's not all that exciting. Just a lot of bosses one after another. And you have to wait sometimes 10-15 minutes for the bosses to spawn. And if you don't have a particularly active train going from and to and from the fates. Um, well, it's good to have things in the background to keep you uh, occupied in the meanwhile. That's the best I can really put it. But, yeah, we'll probably be playing as a tank. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that into playing as a focused discipline or disciple of magic. But I'm sure I'll um, find some excuse. <laughs> but I will probably also have give the dancer a look. Um, I will have to find some <clears throat> glamour for that particular class. But both seem interesting. We don't have a new healer, it seems. It's going to be a tank and a ranged physical DPS. But I'm not too fussed. I know some people are. We have the two new playable classes. It seems they are currently gender locked. Maybe they won't be in the future. Who knows? I mean, I think a lot of the people who are upset, it's going to be temporary. They're upset now. They'll be upset when the expansion is released. But give it six months, and no one's going to care. It's one of those things. People get upset, and then they forget very easily. It's unfortunately just a way of life. And I don't think this is really all that's going to... It's not a major issue. There's bigger problems, <laughs> both in a game and in the world. We don't need to worry about not having male bunnies. You know... <sighs> Either way. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. I won't go in. I'll start rambling. I already have started rambling. But yeah, I might see you for, for more Final Fantasy XIV in the meanwhile. If not, here on Twitch or here on YouTube, depending on if you're watching the series later, I will probably be bringing a couple of uh, other games to the channel. Um, I'll probably talk about more, talk more about them as we um, get things set up. Either way, once again, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your days. And I'll see you all, if nothing else, in two or three months. Ready for Shadowbringers, if I don't see you beforehand. Until then, though. Take care now.